Every time I've helped anybody try to raise their prices, there's always a fear that they're not gonna be able to get enough clients to keep their business running. I'll tell you, you are wrong and 100% wrong. Can you double or triple or quadruple your prices overnight? No, but there's a right way to do it. First thing you need to understand is knowing your numbers. One of the biggest issues I see with people who raise prices, they don't understand why they're charging what they're charging. So they'll say, hey, here's the price. Customer will go, that sounds a little high. And they'll go, yeah, I thought so too. Because they don't understand why they're charging what they're charging. So you have to understand what your overhead is, what your daily run rate is, what your profit margins are, what your job expenses are. You know, because every business is different. People say, well, what should I be charging for this? Every business is different. You have different stuff and different employees and different overhead than every other company that does what you do. No two companies are built exactly the same. Imagine a company with an office and trucks competing to a company with no office and no company trucks. Wildly different overhead. They physically can't charge the same amount of money and make enough to run their business. So understanding your overhead, understanding your numbers, which will allow you to be confident in delivering that. That's one of the biggest issues. The other part about it is, when you start charging what you're worth, people can sense that. There are people out there who want value, they want the best, they want the top, they wanna to tell all their friends they had the best contractor or the best provider in town. Well, they're not gonna do that if they feel like they're getting a discount, right? Somebody who drives a Lamborghini or a Porsche or a Ferrari doesn't drive a Toyota for a reason. So they don't shop at Toyota. Which leads me to my next point, which is you have to increase the perceived value of your client experience. It doesn't always mean spend more money. It means go increase the way that the client feels throughout the process. How are you communicating? When are you communicating? How are you using technology? How are you using automation? How do you look when you show up? How do your vehicles look when they show up? Even a dirty vehicle, when you pull into the driveway covered in mud, is gonna leave a different impression than making sure your guys clean their trucks on a regular basis. So ultimately, your ability to charge more is directly related to the perceived value of doing business with you. So communicating how your process works, communicating why your process works that way, showing how other people have enjoyed your process, all those things don't really cost money. Many of the things you do already, you just don't do a good enough job presenting on the front end. This also allows you to increase your close rate. But ultimately, you will continue to grow revenue because you're charging more. So you can do less work, which allows you to deliver a better experience and make more money, which helps you with referrals and word of mouth marketing as well. As you are able to deliver a better experience per customer, they talk about you more. So raising prices actually has you with less customers on the front end, so there is gonna be a dip at some point, but as you can deliver a better service because you're not nickel and diming, you're not arguing, you're not worried about it, you're not stressed, you're confident in what you're doing, now those customers are telling a different story to their friends and family. They're, you know, they're, I've always used the, the same terminology as like the power of the word but. Hey, they're expensive, but they're worth it. Or hey, they were affordable, but they were difficult to deal with. That but is very powerful. And when neighbors talk to neighbors and friends talk to friends and family talk to family, when they say, hey, they were kind of expensive, but they were worth every penny, that's how you really start to excel your brand. Because right now in your marketplace, you know that there is somebody charging way more than you are and growing and winning. And you're like, well, how are they doing it? That's how they're doing it. Ultimately, they have a better approach a better perceived value, a better client experience, a better way to make sure that every customer has a top-notch experience. As you do that, you are able to cater a higher price point for the value that you're bringing. All right, so if you've raised price or trying to figure out how to get more people so that you can get more awareness and get more opportunities, check out this video I did right here on how to market your construction company. There's a lot of different best practices and tips so that you can help get more people aware of you. So as you increase pricing, you continue to win fast and went off.